the handlers of the woman who was pregnant by Fresh Prince CEO have turned on her. And I don't think a lot of people know why, because a lot of the answers are sort of lost in the middle of four hour live streams. But I watched it, cropped out the good parts and put it all together to make it make sense for you. Unlike, unlike Duke the Simp here, once I realized I was wrong, I just stepped away. And now y'all put me on blast and I'm telling the truth now. So I said, okay, so I said, this is what you're going to do. When we have, when we have the, the uh, interview, then basically don't do no more interviews. Don't do any more Instagram lives. I said, go ahead and live your life. Get the abortion, which, which is taking the pills and go live your life. That was my plan. And then she said, well, what if I, if I, she said, what if she uh, want to take Instagram Pictures. I said, well, your Instagram is, is deleted. She says, well, no, I created a new Instagram. I said, well, if you create a new Instagram, don't show your stomach. And then about five months later, say, oh, fresh and fit. <laughs> Listen to my diabolical mind. Say, uh, if, you're, if you don't want it, because she, she's, she's addicted to social media. She's addicted to detention. So she wanted to know, like, like what type of pictures to take? I said, take pictures from your boobs on up or from here on up. And I said, five months, six months later, or, or whenever you're back in Dubai, and there's a reason she's in Dubai, okay? But when you are uh, back in Dubai, then when you take a sexy pictures, cause you want to advertise, you know, for your customers, I said, just tell them that the stress of uh, water caused you so much that that's when, you know, you had a miscarriage. There, I came clean. I came clean. That was the plan. And so when she, so the, so I want you to understand the plan was perfect. All she had to do was shut up. And so when she got on Duke stream and showed the sonogram and all this other stuff. And then when she said, I don't think I'm going to keep the baby. Yep, I sure did get mad because she ruined the entire plan. And then later on that day, Lily showed me that she is indeed a prostitute or was a prostitute or she was in an escort ring. We're going to come back to that part because that's the best part. She got a whole pimp and everything, but let's deal with this first. But once I was given the evidence by Lily, I woke up and said, holy smokes, they were right. It hurt my heart. But I wanted to walk away clean. She was the one that didn't stay on script. She was the one vaping and drinking alcohol in Miami. Talking about some, no, no, it's lemonade. It's lemonade. It's not wine, guys. And I got irritated. I'm like, if you're going to keep up a ruse, don't be seen with your ratchet BBL girlfriend drinking wine in Miami. Those, that's what I said. And y'all losing y'all mat. Y'all losing y'all crap over that. So she had already control alt deleted the baby while doing interview tours, pretending to be pregnant. And Tree was managing her like Olivia Pope and Associates, trying to devise a plan that kept her looking innocent and made Fresh look like a monster. But prior to all of that, Tree actually found out that Daisy was actually an escort. This is the pimp right here, <laughs> Mr. Eli Nahas. So. There's a thing with the pimp where you have the most billionaires. Listen, there is no such thing as millionaires on these yachts. These are huge yachts and mega billionaires, men who just don't care about money, will be on these yachts and they're out in the sea because of some legal. There's a lot of stuff you could do in the sea versus on land. There's a lot of things you can get away with on the sea. And they get these women that get paid anywhere from $20,000 to $40,000 a night. And you have to provide some favors. So they're, they're either topless or they're completely nude. And they just stand around and start dancing and this, that, and the other. And uh, the men will choose who they want and they will do whatever they want with the woman, whatever. I mean, you know, consensual, right? So this is uh, Eli. And Eli is one of the major pimps in, uh, in Lebanon, okay? Eli has uh, a bunch of um, modeling competitions. <laughs> Excuse me, beauty contest. And what he does is that he gets the most, I guess you could say the best of the best, in the escort world uh, in that area and he parades them around so instead of you having a website so there is no website to showcase these girls what he does is this he takes the girls let me show you he takes the girls and he uh had a little beauty contest i don't i can't play the music because it's too pop okay you know what i'm saying and these girls are 
like this. So it's a way of, of saying, oh, this is Miss Asia. This is Miss Venezuela. These beauty competitions are unregulated, uncertified. They are not, uh, you can barely find the legitimacy. But as a matter of fact, they're not legitimate. It's just a way for the girls to dress up and parade around a 90% empty auditorium. But it's the, it's the cameras that these billionaires will look at the girls and they will decide based upon the competition, and we'll, I'll show it to you in a minute, that which one they want, okay? Or they get their representatives to choose at least 10 to 20 of the best girls from these competitions. And I'm gonna show you him parading them around. I will get to that in a minute, right? So this is Eli Nahas, all right? This man was arrested in France based upon, two, oh, two, hold on, please bear with me. I think it was in 2007, 2007 he was arrested in France in the, Can in, um, in the Canaan's, uh, the Canaan's Film Festival uh, because he was uh, caught with 50 of his prostitutes excuse me, his high-end escorts. And basically, uh, these women, although beautiful, these are the most elite. So you have the billionaires want the best of the best in the escort industry, and he uh, masked these women up as beauty contestants and showcased them. Now, if you win, here's, here's what the thing about it is. If you win a, a crown, you get to up your price. I don't know the prices. <laughs> so let's say, for instance, uh, everybody, you know, so anyway, getting anywhere from $20,000 to $40,000. But if you become Miss, uh, Miss, hold on. If you become Miss World Next Talk Model, if you become Miss Tourism Universe, if you become Miss Europe and Miss Asia World, you can get the top dollar, whether it's $40,000 or $60,000. So these women want to win. They legitimately want to win, not because they feel like they're the beautiful woman, but they want to win for that money, that coin, you know what I'm saying? Now, um, these are the women that he parades around. So he goes into these uh, um, exclusive malls and these women walk around and they are on the yachts and they're also at the film festivals and they're also at the billionaire uh, hotels. And, and as Eli Nahas told me, every single Cannes Film Festival, you'll see all these yachts out in the harbor. All of them, he said, have about 10 nude or half nude women on there that are called models. There are agencies that call themselves modeling agencies all over the world that bring in these women from New York, from Paris, from London, from Venezuela, from Russia, even from Morocco. Now, she was everything that they said she was, but does that mean Fresh isn't stupid? No, there's a lot of flags on the play on his part still. But the narrative of her being Little Red Riding Hood and him being the big bad wolf, that was a false narrative. Anybody with eyes from the beginning should have saw, just like I saw from the beginning, that she was basically just trying to pull a classic 304 retirement plan. And ABBA basically knew it. Tree, LOL, Tree, that wasn't all, all, all I said to you. Oh, that's true. Well, I don't want to leak everything. <laughs> if you want to tell everybody. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Okay, ABBA, ABBA I, I, I'll, I'll say it. Uh, am I okay? ABBA, is it okay for me to tell? Is it okay? It, it, by the way, it doesn't make ABBA look bad. Do I have permission to, to, to say everything you said? Okay. Abba said, uh, Abba said something to the fact that, how are you going to defend this girl being an escort? And I was like, that's not her. I, I, I didn't believe it was her. And then he said, good luck trying to fix, <laughs> something to that fact of, good luck trying to fix this. <laughs> so Abba believed it was, well, turned out, I guess in, in, in hindsight, I was the one that was wrong and he, he was the one that was right. So he was like, good luck trying to fix this. You can't defend this. I think he was saying something. To, I think he was, I think it was something along the line. I'm paraphrasing. You can't defend this. Good luck trying to defend this or something like that. Okay. They were twisting themselves and not trying to figure out a way to make her come off as innocent. Like it wasn't just enough for Fresh to be the hypocritical dummy that you could point the finger at. They could have kept it there and rolled that wave and had that win and just kept her credibility or integrity out of the conversation then lo and behold she started throwing it at abba i guess she looked at the the metrics and analytics and said abba getting more money off this youtube thing than uh than uh, fresh right now let me go on and you know <laughs> and that's what it looked like really happening right there on the 8th of april literally four days after she broke the news on all of this she was behind the scenes already talking about getting rid of it while publicly saying i don't want to kill the baby i don't want to kill nobody she was more concerned about the baby messing up her body and ultimately messing up her future bags so why don't you wait until you're three months pregnant and then make them take uh, a dna test in all right
And she said, no, no, I don't want to mess up my body. I don't want to mess up my body. I have good, I work for this body. If I dream my pregnant, I'm going to have a big stomach. I said, well, then you can't have it both ways. So if you want everybody to know it's his baby and you want him to take a DNA test. Look, my first video on this, I said she wasn't even pregnant by Fresh. He don't believe he could have kids. And she traveled out of the country for two months and then came back and was back for three weeks talking about, she, you know, the doctor showed her, proved her that she was three to four weeks pregnant. I'm, I was from the start concerned about that missing week when she was in a different country. I didn't need to see that she was an escort. That was irrelevant to me. I can just see what was happening on the wide view. <laughs>